All right, thank you very much. Uh, welcome. This is the Nimmons Tribute, the album release uh, live stream for To the Nth, which is an album we recorded last year as a tribute to Phil Nimmons, uh, my grandfather and uh, a mentor and a bandmate, band leader, educator, clarinetist, arranger, I mean, the list goes on. Um, he's affected all of us, and so we wanted to create this tribute to pay tribute to him and um, play some of his music to keep his legacy alive and uh, keep his music going. So um, we're happy to have you with us. We're going to continue after that first tune, uh, which was Nufzikism, which we started with because that is central to Phil's philosophy. And if you spell Nufzikism backwards, you get music is fun, which uh, I'm sorry I took the fun out of you figuring it out, but... Um, it is, I don't know, it might, might have taken you a while to figure it out. So, uh, yeah, I figured we would start with that to set the table. And now we will move on to Harbors, which is part of the Atlantic Suite, which is one of his tunes, uh, one of his better known um, recordings. Um, and this is one of the movements called Harbors, which he uh, wrote with the East Coast, the Maritimes, Halifax, um, Africville, and... Um, the harbor in mind when he was there on tour, he, it moved him. So he uh, wrote this tune, and this is Harbors from the Atlantic Suite. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, thank you very much. That was Harbors from the Atlantic Suite. And now we'll be moving along, uh, playing a ballad uh, dedicated to Phil's daughter and my mother, Holly. Uh, she was a huge part of this project and putting this group together and making the recording happen. So uh, we're gonna dedicate this to her. This is Holly.
All right, thanks very much. That was Holly. And uh, now we're going to be moving on to uh, a tune that I only just discovered uh, more recently, even though it's one of Phil's oldest tunes. Um, it's on a record, actually, which is over there on that side of the room. Um, and it's a tune called Swing Softly. And um, it's amazing, the connection, because on that original recording, uh, the guitar was played by Ed Bickert, legendary guitarist and um, who would later go on to record with none other than Mike Murley and uh, has you know connections to all all of us really I mean in the, uh, the they've had profound reaching effects on the jazz community in Canada so um, it's amazing to be a part of that connection from you know 1959 all the way to today the music is still alive and um, so we're, we've uh, brought this one back, it's called Swing Softly, and um, I uh, will introduce the band now. This is uh, the Nimmons Tribute, um, all um, world-class, top-class musicians um, who all have a connection to Phil. And uh, on the baritone saxophone, we have Perry White. Thank you. <laughs> on uh, the, uh, the alto, we have Terrett. I'll let, I'll, I'll let you finish. On the altar, we have Tara Davidson. Yeah. On the trumpet, we have Kevin Turcotte. Yeah. On the tenor, we have none other than Mike Murley. Yeah. On the trombone, we have William Carn. Yeah. Right. On the bass, John Maharaj. And on the drums, Ethan Ardelli. And it's really uh, an absolute pleasure to play with these musicians. I'm Sean Nimmons Patterson. Thank you. Uh, pleasure to uh, 
Thanks, everyone. Yeah, pleasure to be doing this, and uh, so glad to have you along for the ride. We're going to continue uh, now with a tune, Swing Softly.
All right, thank you very much. That was Swing Softly, and that featured the whole band. Um, on the recording, um, we did five tunes with the full group. Um, a lot of Phil, they're, they're all Phil's tunes. Um, about half of them were based quite strictly on Phil's original arrangement, but uh, about half of them we've interpreted more. I've done more of a, a new, newer uh, original arrangement. So uh, you'll be hearing a bit of both um, vintage Phil and some newer sounds. Um, but now we're going to actually uh, give the horns a break and we're going to play two trio tunes. Uh, I've contributed one original song to this album called Rista's Vista, which is a play on words on Phil's middle name, Rista. And um, the idea behind it is basically, um, you know, Phil's greatest lesson that I feel I've learned from him is um, to show me that the, the greatest uh, vista we can reach is uh, within ourselves and that uh, when we um, you know use our own voice and um, you know uh, speak our own language uh, march to the beat of our own of our own drummer that um, we can see you know reach great heights and and when we bring that forward and others bring that forward we can create amazing things together uh, musically artistically in the world and um, so that's what Rissa's Vista is uh, essentially about, and we're going to play that for you now. Thanks.
Um, good to have a few people here in the room today. It's, it gives it more of a live vibe. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that or not, but it's good they're here. Um, we're going to do one more trio tune, um, and this is a, another tune that's dear to my heart. This is called Lisa, and it's dedicated to my grandmother, Noreen Lisa Nimmons, um, Spencer Nimmons. Uh, she was a pianist as well, a very accomplished pianist, um, and when I was young, she was the one that sat me up at the, at the piano, and uh, so I, you know, she has been ever present in, in this process and in everything uh, in Phil's life and his career and all of our lives, so this is uh, an important uh, person to remember for, for me, and um, we're going to do that now with Lisa.
All right, thank you very much. That was Lisa. And uh, we're going to bring back the full band now and uh, continue with one of Phil's more recent tunes. This is called Sands of Time. And this would be one of the tunes that we uh, took more liberties, liberties on, so this is more of an original arrangement. But, um, of course, the spirit of Phil hopefully is uh, ever-present in this. And, uh, yeah, we are going to continue now with Sands of Time. Thanks.
All right, thanks very much. That was Sands of Time, and we're going to play our last tune uh, for you now. This is called Nightcrawler, and this is a tune that I remember quite vividly from um, my childhood when I would go down to uh, the Montreal Bistro or to George's Spaghetti House, and uh, Phil would play with his quartet, and uh, this, this song always stuck with me. So. Uh, we've done an arrangement here of Nightcrawler. Uh, it's going to feature Perry White on the baritone saxophone and Mike Murley on the tenor saxophone. I believe John is going to play a solo as well as Ethan. And um, I want to thank you for watching and uh, joining us today. It's been a pleasure. Um, I uh, want to thank some people. I want to uh, just double check here what I'm supposed to say. All right, I want to thank uh, Bravo Niagara Festival of the Arts for the support, for helping us put this on. Um, Yamaha Music Canada, Steve Butterworth, Jim Welter, and Aya Sato um, for all their support in making this happen. Um, I want to thank uh, all the crew, Mike, uh, John, Celine, Holly, the whole band. Um, I'm sure there's people I'm forgetting, um, and I want to give it an extra emphasis to Celine because she has helped uh, make this happen uh, so thank you thank you Celine and um, yes yes that deserves a round of applause absolutely I know I think, I think at this point we're doing applause so let's we should just let's go for it um, okay and you know first and foremost I think the biggest thank you has to go to Phil himself um, for writing these tunes and for you know, imparting his uh, wisdom and his experience and his uh, philosophy uh, on, on us. So I, you know, I speak for myself, but I'm personally very grateful uh, for his influence on my life and um, for this opportunity to play with this amazing group of musicians. So thanks again, and uh, we're going to finish now with Nightcrawler. <laughs>